This is Venezuela's Cocoa Country, a series of spectacular hidden valleys far from the crowds and some of the problems of this troubled land. It's here that Luis, a former industrial engineer, and his son Rodrigo decided to begin farming. They're convinced that there is something about the earth, the climate, the soul of this place that's a key ingredient of the best chocolate in the world. All farmers have a passion, but ours is perhaps more than most, and that's mainly because of the final product, because cocoa is a very important component of chocolate. And talk about chocolate, and you are talking about a delight, a pleasure, something which everyone all over the world loves. Luis has a small chocolate factory on the farm. The word artisanal is often misused in the developed world. This is how real artisans make chocolate. The cocoa trees are deliberately planted amongst other vegetation, a technique that the experts believe adds to the final flavour. The method of cultivation and production of cocoa has barely changed in places like this for centuries, but what has changed is the market. A boom in the demand for ultra-high-end chocolate, particularly from Asia, means that these beans, known as aroma beans, are highly sought after by international buyers. Each of these sacks is worth over $200. Patrick Pineda runs a new young company exporting Venezuelan cocoa. Currently there's a move globally for a bean to bar artisanal movement, which means chocolate makers are looking to work directly with the bean to find and tease out the best flavors. Perfect. But surely there are easier places to do business than Venezuela. My family's from Venezuela, and for me, uh, Venezuela is a country where I want to have my kids. So we find an uh, opportunity right now in the environment, both politically and economically, and cocoa is one of these opportunities. And perhaps there is a lesson there, that whatever the wider problems of an economy, somewhere there is always an opportunity. Stephen Gibbs, CCTV, Canoabo, Venezuela.